So yeah. it's a similar format to our online classes. We're going to start off with what I would consider a signature cocktail of mine, which is a sparkling mimosa cider. Um, I like that dish a lot. It celebrates the Apple community. I'm in Peru, New York. It's the Apple capital, the Macintosh capital of the world, I guess. Um, so we're going to start off with a nice cocktail. We're going to move on to three courses, and it's three courses that match very well together. So we're going to learn not only individual dishes, but we're going to learn how a, a menu is built and what flavor from one dish leads into the other and then leads into the other, and then how you close out a meal like that. I'm personally honored to do this with Mountain Lake Public Television. I think it's great. And I think it's great because I think public television is, is all about the pulse of the community. And I think the food that we're choosing to use is about the community itself. So for me, my acquisition list is farmers that I'm friends with, you know, purveyors, cheesemakers, um, cider makers, things like that. So they're going to be featured in this, which I think is fantastic. So people contributing and, and, and participating in this event actually get a chance to go out and buy and celebrate and support these local food producers uh, and growers. And then put it together in a way that's super, super delicious. And it might even change something that they've known. So we're doing a baked feta dish. How many people actually bake feta? Baked feta softens up, changes the salinity of it, um, makes it um, a different experience. Um, and when we throw in the other ingredients with that, I think tomato and olive oil and rosemary, um, and then you get some nice crusty bread and you just kind of go in for that one big grab. That's a fantastic noshing dish to start off with. Um, and then we're going to bring in some Italian flair. We've got a steak tagliata, which is a very thick, um, large format um, steak. So it's off, I usually use it off the sirloin, um, which is, it's not as prime as um, a tenderloin or a New York strip steak, but it's certainly affordable. Everybody can afford a sirloin for the most part. Um, it's also one of the steaks that's the hardest to cook. It literally has a five degree window before it's awesome to terrible. So we're going to guide people to awesome and we're going to avoid terrible. Um, and there's lots of ways that we do that. There's tricks of the hand to teach people how to judge doneness. There's looking at it from a, from a physiological standpoint. The application of heat is hydrolysis. So looking at how that steak moves through its cooking process and what to look for along the way. So you know when to turn it and how to cook it, know what resting a piece of meat is, um, so on and so forth. And then we've got some pretty decent uh, dessert flavors. I think we've got some yogurt and uh, cardamom, which is an Indian type spice, things that people wouldn't normally um, combine together. But uh, my palate does, and it's, it's you know, an honor to kind of share that with your community. So, And if folks have never taken a cooking lesson before, if they've never participated in a, in a virtual cooking lesson. Is it, is it fun? Is it really something that's uh, easy and something they'll enjoy? Yes. So I pride myself on a pedagogy, which is an instructional methodology that gets everybody to the table, that tier shifts everybody involved, um, and you're taking 35 years of experience, and you're sharing that with everybody at every level. So I love it when someone has no cooking skill and they come to a class. I think it's fantastic. And all they have to do is turn their video on, ask the questions when they have the questions, and never be afraid to ask a question because if you're thinking it, someone else has that same question. It's no different than a culinary school classroom. Um, ask the question and it will be answered. And it's fun. It's just, it's a lot of fun. It's food. You know, I'm going to be having a cup of cocktails. Um, nothing wrong with that. I encourage everybody who's cooking at home to have a cocktail and, you know, just enjoy the process of making dinner. So visit our website at mountainlake.org to learn more and sign up for this special and unforgettable evening, all from the comfort and safety of your home. Enjoy a virtual cook-in with renowned chef Curtis Hem, and at the same time, help support Mountain Lake PBS. Head to our website, mountainlake.org, for more details and to sign up, and we'll look forward to seeing you on May 23rd.